it's day 11 and uh, just finished uploading video 10. Had my first IPT session yesterday. We're going on to IPT session number two today and uh, we'll have number three tomorrow then I'm back home for a few days. So hit the books one more time, get ready for tonight. Tonight we're gonna to start introducing some emergencies inside of the airplane, going through the quick reference handbook, the QRH. I still have my six inch from yesterday. I still have the rest of my sandwich from yesterday that I'm gonna have for uh, breakfast slash lunch today. It's uh, 1234 slept in because I run until midnight or 1 a.m. So got to uh, make sure you're well rested to get inside that simulator and do the best that you can. Every IPT session that we have introduces more and more. So yesterday was kind of just a basic familiarization of the aircraft so we can get used to the calls, the SOPs. SOPs are standard operating procedures. And today we're going to start introducing some abnormal items, having abnormal starts, potentially some airborne issues requiring an in-flight diversion. So they're kind enough to give us some PowerPoints that kind of give us a understanding of what we could see in the session. It doesn't say exactly what it is, uh, but then it gives us the opportunity to review different uh, checklists and SOPs to ensure that we are well prepared for the session. So I'm going to sit here and practice uh, a few of the flows again because that will be another uh, touching point. Definitely it's funny because you practice on a poster, but then when you go into the actual IPT, you don't have the same distance and everything looks just a tiny bit different because it's above you, not on a flat piece of paper. So. Just getting the flow of everything, making sure that that is all good. And uh, yeah, you can watch me do this for a few minutes, I guess. All right, spent the afternoon studying, been sitting in front of the poster, took a little bit of a nap, ate some food. We're gonna go hit the road to go over to flight safety and do IPT session number two. Something that I just learned today that I did not know previously was that this week actually was the last week of operations at the Down Zoo Airport. It was uh, the de Havilland of Canada and Bombardier plant for the many, many years. And uh, they had the last global takeoff this week. So it's pretty cool to be able to operate it, uh, the Sims out of here. I don't know how long it will be for, but it's a good spot for now. I realize that today's video is kind of more or less the same as what yesterday's video was. Tomorrow I'm hoping to get out a little bit earlier uh, before going into sim and then finish about 1am and I'm going to try to fly back to Calgary the next morning. So we will see how it goes. But for the time being, I'm just going to focus on this uh, IPT session and make sure everything goes well. Behind me you can see the former Bombardier and de Havilland buildings at the Downsview Airport. Uh, some information on the Downsview Air Airport. It was opened in 1929 as a general aviation airfield. It was one of the two airports that were built in the area. During World War II it was expanded and then it was renamed the RCAF Station Downsview. It's also the airport where the Q400 was developed. Uh, different aircraft such as the Challenger series, uh, they were all developed here. but. Now it's just a big empty parking lot. All right, well, we just finished the end of IPT2. Went through a couple of failures, which was kind of nice. Makes it a little bit more exciting. So I'm ready for bed. It's gonna be uh, a good day tomorrow. It's uh, my last IPT for a little while and uh, we'll move on from there. So appreciate you tuning in to today's video. I will see you 
tomorrow.